right now. Good evening, I'm Vicki George. Passengers on a chartered seaplane had a harrowing experience yesterday on the Ohio River. The plane capsized on the water in Trimble County. Today, the pilot returned to the scene to pull his plane out of the water. WLKY's Mark Vanderhoff spoke with him earlier at the scene of the accident. He joins us now live in the studio. Mark, what went wrong? Well, pilot Troy McVeigh says he was taking off in his seaplane when he began to lose speed on the water, and within minutes, his plane was sinking. I'm thrilled that uh, nobody's uh, hurt. You never want anything like this to happen, you know, when you're out on the Ohio River. Troy McVeigh's plane capsized in the Ohio River Wednesday. On Thursday, Cruz successfully flipped his plane right side up. He was taking off Wednesday from the Ohio River near Madison, Indiana, when he says the plane hit some debris in the water. With a hole in one pontoon, he tried to get to shore, but the plane flipped, going nose first into the water. Well, there was a moment, but uh, everything worked uh, just as briefed, and uh, everybody did what they were supposed to do and got out very cleanly in seconds. So uh, something was going right for us uh, last night. McVeigh and his passengers swam to shore. They had been on a trip to Madison to eat and were on their way home. He owns McVeigh Seaplanes, a charter company based out of Rising Sun, Indiana. Normally, they'll uh, we'll get you to the restaurant and back, but uh, today we had a little bit of bad luck, but that's life, right? McVeigh was able to tie the plane to a tree Wednesday night. A crowd formed as crews worked to flip it over. You know, there's a lot of wingspan out of that water, 40 foot. It's going to be interesting to see if they can do it without breaking the plane up. This wrecker pulled from the shore. The plane was stuck nose down for a moment. But eventually flipped right side up. So we'll uh, float it back to Rising Sun, uh, pull it by a boat back to the hangar, and then we'll finish the rest of it there. Now, McVeigh says it will take some work, but Vicki, he hopes to be flying the plane again by spring. Mark Vanderhoff, WLKY News. All right, thank you, Mark. The FAA is investigating, in fact, an inspector was on the scene today.